example of a diet problem. That example says that a housewife is there. A housewife is there which wishes to mix together two kinds of food, capital X and capital Y. A lady is there which uh, who want to mix two type of foods that is capital X and capital Y. Two foods are there. In such a way that a mixture contains at least 10 units of vitamin A. That mixture contains at least 10 units of vitamin A. Then it should also contain at least 12 units of vitamin B and at least 8 units of vitamin C. So a lady want to make a food for that she want to mix two foods capital X and capital Y and to mix that food she want that in that mixture 10 unit of vitamin A will be there, 12 unit of vitamin B will be there and 8 unit of vitamin C will be there. After that this constitution is given as food capital X food capital Y. Now vitamin A, B and C how much value of that this food contains. So food X has one value this and the vitamin A in food X is one unit and vitamin A in uh, food Y is two units. Here it is two and two and this is three and one. So it means vitamin C is uh, in the food X that is three units in the food Y this is only one unit. Now again this um, question says that 1 kilogram of food capital X cost rupees 6. Cost. So food capital X cost rupees 6 per kg. And food capital Y cost rupees 10 per kg. Find out the minimum costing in which we can have a good vitaminous food. So that we will have a very good food in the minimum to minimum cost that will contain these values of vitamin A, B and C. It means we have to minimize a problem. If we have to minimize that problem, which is the problem? That is the costing. So we have to minimize 6x plus 10y. Let's say x is the uh, x kilogram is the food x here and y kilogram is the food y here. So that will be 6x plus 10y we have to minimize. Then we have to look for the constraints. So these are So those constraints are, first constraint says that the vitamin A in the food X will be 1X and in the food Y will be 2X, 2Y. So this will be X plus 2Y. Now it says that this vitamin A should be at least 10 units. So if we will say at least, that will be greater than sign. If we will say for the at least, so it, will, it means that 10 must be there. So this will be greater than equals to 10. X plus 2Y is greater than equals to 10. Similarly, if we inform for the vitamin B, so that will be 2X plus 2Y is greater than equal to 12. It means in that food, vitamin B should be 2X plus 2Y and that must be greater than equal to 12 units. And then form for the vitamin C, that is 3X plus y is greater than equals to 8 and x and y should be greater than equals to 0. 
So these are the constraints this problem is we have to minimize. Let's draw the graph.